Welcome to a short tutorial about how to install MultiQC. MultiQC is a program written in Python and it's been packaged up in a few different places to make it easy for you to install it and get it running. Which one you choose depends on your environment, where it is that you're trying to run MultiQC. The first thing to check is if you already have MultiQC installed. Uh, if you're using a scientific computing cluster, a shared cluster, there's a chance that it may already be available to you. So if you have the environment module system, you can search for it very easily just by doing module spider multi QC. You can see here on our Swedish Upmax cluster, we have a few versions of multi QC installed and I can load it just by doing module load multi QC. That's fine, but what happens if you're running on your own computer or on a server where uh, multi QC isn't installed? On a lot of computers, you should have Python installed. I can do Python version here. You can see I have version 2.7 of Python running on this machine. And I also have a tool called pip, which is able to install programs which are on the Python package index. Uh, this makes it very, very easy. I can just do pip install multiqc. And when I press enter, that will download multiqc and all of its dependencies and install it into this environment. Now that pip is finished, I can do multiqc minus minus version, and we can see that multiqc is installed. What happens if you don't have Python or you don't have pip or anything like this? You can take a step back and uh, use something called conda. Conda is an environment and package manager, which is really nice to keep your working environments isolated from one another. So if you have any conflicts between different tools, you can keep them separate. I'm not in a Conda environment here, so I'm going to create one. Um, so Conda create, I'll call it Conda test, and I want it to have Python 2.7. I'm going to hit install. Okay. And then I'm going to come into this environment by doing source activate conda test. Okay, now I can see if I do Python version, I can see I've got Python installed here. And I can install MultiQC through conda. There's a channel called Bioconda, which has lots of very useful bioinformatics tools packaged up in it. So I can now do conda install C for channel Bioconda MultiQC. And this will again download and install both MultiQC and all of its dependencies. Great, MultiQC, and you can see I've got it running. Okay, so this is all through package managers and everything, but uh, sometimes it's easier just to get a copy of the files and install it yourself. That's not a problem. Um, it's especially useful if you want to edit any of the files or extend MultiQC yourself, you have to do this. You can get the files from GitHub if you have git installed, which is a command line tool. You can do git clone and then the address, which you can get off a website. Uh, it's github.com, yours, multiqc.git. This will download the files and all the version control tools that come with it. Uh, into a directory called MultiQC, or you can name that specific directory. It's worth saying if you're planning to extend MultiQC, it's better to fork that repository, because then you'll be able to make changes and commit to it as if it belongs to you, as it's your own repository, and then at a later date, pull those back into the main repo. Now I can do CD MultiQC into the directory that was made. If I do LS, you can see the files which are there, and then I can install the tool by doing Python setup install. and it's installed. Okay, uh, if there's any of that that you can't remember, you can just go to the MultiQC website. Uh, at the top right, it has the quick install installations, which are just a couple of one-liners. And if you go to the documentation, there's much longer, more detailed instructions. If you have any problems, let me know.